three five and only things can be waived where the planning board finds that undue hardship practical difficulties or restriction upon imaginative and otherwise desirable design may result from strict compliance with this ordinance uh, it may waive one or more of the requirements of the ordinance in favor of proposed alternative upon a showing that compared with strict compliance the alternative will not create more hazardous traffic conditions or less sanitary sewage disposal conditions uh, will provide more varied and imaginative subdivi subdivision layout and design will secure substantial the standards of the street design and construction required by this chapter and will not have the effect of nullifying the intent and objectives of the comprehensive plan or this chapter Thank so you. there's nothing that Thank is you. limited I, I just have two more comments on that same page I wanted to ask Maureen what a teardrop cul-de-sac is um, I added that in at the request of uh, mr. Emery and my understanding is it's the and perhaps uh, mr. Wilcox may want to jump in and assist me at some point but my understanding it's a kind of cul-de-sac where um, a standard cul-de-sac when you drive down to the end if there was a an island you would be looking at the island where a teardrop cul-de-sac you would go straight down and then start to make your turn around Oh, it looks like a drop of water. I think I'm not. <laughs> okay. On on page <laughs> page number five of the memo under under mon monuments. I'm disappointed Tom Emery's not here because I think he could answer this. When we were talking about monumentation, um, the points of curvature, and I th I think Mr. Parker's brought up the idea of putting monuments at the property line intersections was the intent that all property line intersections would be marked on straight a ways to and is that an onerous burden on the developer I'd understood it to be every place everywhere is is that a particularly that was, onerous yeah, that was my intent when I made that comment it was I just think it would be easier for the whole world to have that done at, the, at that time. it really would is is that a I mean do you know that is that something you work on Mark well, there is more cost to uh, to an applicant to put in a uh, granite monument or precast concrete monument as opposed to an uh, iron pin. Because I'm curious, for instance, if it were Stone Gate, which is curvy roads, but something, I mean, if you had 40 house lots in there and what kind of cost that's adding. I didn't understand that's what we were discussing. And I, does, if no one knows, I, I feel comfortable I sending this I before the council. I think that it's a really good thing to have my own that's for my own experience it's it is costly it's um, but it's a lot harder to move a six inch concrete <coughs> monument than mm -hmm. it is to move an iron pipe which people will hammer down so that they can mow over them a little more mm -hmm. easily and um, and over the whole scheme of things over years it's so much easier to find the monumentation of property um, once something like that's established and so we can always waive it if, if there's a lot of whimpering and moaning <coughs> about it but by the same token it's a good I think it's a really positive okay. thing to have in, included in the ordinance well I suppose if it's onerous the council will hear about it too no it's doubt passed. okay this thank does you. have another step to go is this <laughs> thank you for humoring me the cost of Melview is for um, providing all monuments and iron, iron rods it's $4,500 for six lots so it's going to be fairly substantial but it is, but it also, well, like I say, um, be a little tough on affordable housing projects. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really don't know about this, but I almost suspect that the cost is more in getting the location mm -hmm. right than in the type of monument that has to be put in. I mean, it, granite is definitely more expensive than pipe, but I would think the cost of the survey would be, yeah. And certainly the time to put it in is right now, no? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, no, after the... No, a monument has to be excavated so that it doesn't move around. And in addition, so the, ma the, material, the material and labor is more. Uh, I had one done a few years ago where I think a, a surveyor would charge something on the order of $25 per pin, but $100 per monument, that sort of thing. So it's not astronomical, but it is a difference. Well, I like it in there. We'll waive it if we need to, but it's... Anyone want to vote on the motion? <coughs> oh, I've we got have a couple, that. couple little things I'd like to bring up now. That <laughs> 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 you know, all kinds of green marks in that. Oh, yeah, well, famous green pen. Some of my questions have been answered, but 
Um, earlier today, I spoke with Maureen on the telephone um, regarding the road classification standards table. And being the type of person that I was, I was having a hard time understanding how things added up, so I added things up, and they didn't add up. Uh, when you add up the right-of-way, the traveled way, the pavement width, the unpaved shoulders, et cetera, in arterial, um, I came up high. Maureen um, explained to me why, because uh, I had forgotten that we were only requesting a sidewalk on one side. So that brings it up short, and that brings up my question. Um, we don't actually take up the entire right-of-way on arterial, either kind of arterial or rural connector with parts of the roadway. Some of it could actually just be right-of-way. There's no actual mm -hmm. disturbance of the area. I just want to make sure everyone was aware of that. Um, I wasn't until I added things up. So that's that's one little item. Um, page five, number eleven, last sentence. Uh, under private road. This one, I, I must have missed this, but the last sentence says the planning board may require that a road be constructed to public road standards, comma, including dedication of a public right of way. I don't remember that part after the comma ever being mentioned before. I remember it being mentioned, but not really discussed much. Okay, page five, number 11, last sentence on the private road. The first part I didn't remember clearly, but the including dedication of a public right of way, I didn't realize that was. Okay, um, the last workshop, um, there was discussion mm -hmm. of the board being able to require that a road be public. Okay. And that's basically the way that I've written it. So um, there may be a, another way to write it that you might be more acceptable to, but usually dedication of a public right-of-way is, to me, the evidence that a road is public. Right, and that's not the intent of a private road. <laughs> like I said, it was, it was my understanding yeah. at the last it, That's right, that we could, board we could. Say, it says may require. Doesn't say requires. Right. Okay. I just that was the first time I had seen them. I think, um, I think the intent was that it, that uh, the private roads have a reasonable place in development in the town, but there is still some concern that uh, someone may come in with, say, a, a large subdivision where, in reality, the road should be public, but they're still proposing it to be private, and that the board would be able to use its own discretion to say that. This is not the kind of development where we anticipate a private road would be acceptable. Okay, well, that, that brings up a whole other thing, but um, I can still envision um, a neighborhood coming in, not that I know of any that will, but that the roads would be private just because that's the type of development that's going to be, and mm -hmm. the potential lot owners, homeowners would, re would like to have that situation exist. Um, I guess going back to this again, okay, it does say may require that a road be constructed to public road standards. Um, I'm, I'm bothered by the including dedication of a public right of way. It sounds like that's almost part of how what's going to be required. How would it be if um, I change that a little bit here? The planning board may require that a road be constructed to public road standards, semicolon. Further, the planning board may require dedication of a, of the roads as public rights of way. Okay, as long as it's separated, so it doesn't seem like it's all part and parcel of the same thing. That would be, I think, that'd be great. And I don't have anything more. Mr. Etzel. I'm just trying to vote. Oh, <laughs> I, I concur with that. Okay. Do we all agree? Do we have any more discussion? What? We amend the motion to say um, the, uh, I have it, we it back here, Mr. Estes, we accept the amendment that says um, the revisions to the ordinance as amended. I uh, yeah, For our discussion this evening. I would agree with that. As per the notes, Maureen. Mm -hmm. 
And did the board agree that we might have a statement about the street tree standards being mm -hmm. developed? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Personal oh, okay. Okay. Which case? Are all those in yeah, favor? I have a second that as okay. modified, so. All those in favor? I, you had, can, uh, one of you, can, uh, Judy, you've been here the longest. <laughs> well, that's opposed. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Huh. Uh, it's only 10 after 9. And, um, we've, I've only eaten half the fudge that was here. Thank you to the ladies that provided that. What happened to the Santa Claus suit? That's gone. Um, is there any further business to discuss tonight? I'd just like to thank our camera crew and all the people who work here. Oh, I, yes. I, I saw the, the Santa Claus suit went away. I don't know where it went. but And thank you for the candy all thank year long. Thank you for the candy all year long. The I look forward great. to this every month. But you've got to put little paper napkins out there. Yes. <laughs> I'd also like to add my thanks. It really has been lovely to, to work with you all this year and just uh, been appreciate all of your efforts. Thanks a lot, ladies. And to our viewing audience, have a great <laughs> Christmas season. Let's all sing a song now, yeah? <laughs> Happy New Year. We'll see you in January. With see you next year. I move that we adjourn. So moved. All in Second. favor? I hope. Opposed? Out of here.